Chimpanzees and bonobos split from each other roughly one to two million years ago during a critical time of environmental and geological change. That's about 60,000 generations ago. I'm Michael Allen Prestwood, and this is Chimpanzees and Bonobos Split 1.5 million years ago. As always, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's dive in. About 1.5 million years ago, the increasing rapids of the Congo River separated the animals on both sides, sending them down unique evolutionary paths. This natural separation, known as a geographic or allopatric split, forced these populations into distinct evolutionary trajectories. The Congo River, one of the most powerful and formidable rivers in the world, became a natural barrier that would separate the two groups indefinitely. For chimps, this resulted in two distinct pan species. To the north are chimpanzees, pan troglodytes, along with diverging species like the western gorilla and forest elephant. And to the south are bonobos, pan paniscus, along with diverging species like the eastern gorilla and savanna elephant. Western gorillas are slender and weigh up to 350 pounds, or 160 kilogram. Eastern gorillas are a little bigger, have slightly longer hair, and can weigh up to 400 pounds. These two species do not interbreed. There are no known hybrid offspring. The same is true for forest and savanna elephants. Forest elephants are smaller with straighter tusks and weigh up to 6,000 pounds, 2,700 kilos. Savanna elephants are larger, weighing up to 13,000 pounds, more than twice as big, and they have more curved tusks. Despite some overlapping regions, forest and savanna elephants don't interbreed and no hybrids exist. Chimpanzees on the northern side of the river lived in the dense forests and savannas of West and Central Africa. To the south, in the lush, humid forests of what is now the Democratic Republic of the Congo, emerged their close relatives, the bonobos or pan paniscus. Chimpanzees and bonobos are distinct species and cannot interbreed. No known hybrids exist despite their close physical resemblance. While their body structures, hands and feet, are similar, bonobos generally have a slimmer build, with longer legs relative to their arms, and a more upright posture. Both are knuckle walkers, but bonobos are noticeably more inclined to walk on two feet. Chimpanzee skin is often lighter at birth and darkens with age, while bonobos tend to have darker facial skin from birth and finer hair giving them a softer appearance compared to the robust muscular physique typical of chimpanzees. These two groups share a last common ancestor, or LCA. This LCA was an early member of the Pan genus, displaying traits likely found in both modern chimpanzees and bonobos, but belonging to neither. While we don't yet have a specific name for this species in the fossil record, it's understood that this chimpanzee bonobo ancestor exhibited a mix of traits that suited the forested environments on both sides of the river. Over millions of years, the environmental pressures on each side of the Congo River shaped their evolution in distinct ways. Bonobos, isolated in a relatively stable environment south of the river, evolved to become slightly more bipedal and socially cooperative. They developed a more peaceful, egalitarian society, led primarily by females, using frequent social bonding behaviors, including non-reproductive sexual interactions to reduce tensions. On the other side, chimpanzees evolved under different pressures, including more competition for resources, which contributed to their stronger, more robust build and more hierarchical male-led social structures. Chimpanzees are known for their greater physical strength and tendency for aggression, often using it to establish dominance within the group or defend territory from outsiders. Interestingly, bonobos and chimpanzees show differences not just physically and socially, but also in how they apply their intelligence. While both have similar sized brains, similar encephalization quotients, or EQs, indicating comparable cognitive potential, they use their intelligence in unique ways. Bonobos excel in social intelligence and empathy, displaying advanced cooperative behaviors. They often work together peacefully, showing higher levels of empathy and conflict resolution. 
Chimpanzees, on the other hand, tend to shine in tool use and problem solving. They're known for their creativity with tools, using sticks, leaves, and rocks for everything from termite fishing to cracking nuts, even crafting hunting tools. This advanced tool use may reflect the pressures of competition in their environment, driving them to develop innovative ways to access food. There are also visible physical differences. Bonobos generally have a slimmer, more gracile build, with slightly longer legs in proportion to their arms, giving them a more upright posture compared to the stockier chimpanzees. Bonobos are typically born with darker skin that remains throughout their lives, while chimpanzees are born with lighter skin that gradually darkens as they age. Evolution in Action these differences in anatomy, behavior, and cognition illustrate how environmental factors and separation and can drive significant evolutionary divergence, even between closely related species. Bonobos and chimpanzees are not only separated by geography, but have evolved distinct identities in terms of their social dynamics, physical traits, and even modes of communication. Studying this split between chimpanzees and bonobos provides valuable insights for understanding human evolution as well. After all, the Pan genus is our closest living relative, sharing an ancient lineage with early humans. Approximately seven and a half million years ago, our own lineage diverged from that of the Pan genus. Examining the distinct paths of chimpanzees and bonobos helps us speculate on the kinds of social and environmental factors that could have shaped early hominins and even modern humans. I'm Michael Allen Prestwood, reminding you that the story of chimpanzees and bonobos is a vivid example of how environmental separation, whether through rivers, mountains, or even climate, can lead to both behavioral and anatomical changes over time, ultimately creating two unique species from a common ancestor. In 30 Philosophers, A New Look at Timeless Ideas, Chapter 1 explores the scientific origin story, including evolution. It focuses on hominid and hominin evolution to explore when human traits likely evolved. For example, in the Chimpanzee Cousin Thought Experiment section. It explores when problem-solving abilities, distinct laughter-like vocalizations, and facial expressions might have evolved. The modern and empirical scientific narrative of our origin story sets up the bigger story of philosophy and the story of the evolution of modern human thought over the last 5,000 years. Dive deeper than memes and snippets. Use the best philosophical ideas of 30 of our top thinkers to improve your life. Order your copy today. And thanks for watching.